Spaghetti squash is amazing with pasta sauces, let me show you why. An easy way to cook this nice tasting squash is by first cutting it very carefully into two halves. The skin of this is very hard, so please do this very slowly and use a sharp knife. Now I will remove all of the seeds with a spoon and then prepare a baking sheet with parchment paper. Then I will lay the squash with skin up on the sheet, either without anything on top or if you want you can hit it with a small spray of olive oil and then a touch of salt and a couple of cranks of black pepper. This now gets into the oven for 40 to 60 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit depending on the size of the squash. Now in the meantime you can make a sauce and because this squash is so low in calories you can actually combine it with a fattier sauce that is higher in calories and more flavorful like this one. I will prepare two optional cloves of garlic and then chop up one medium sized onion, red or white, doesn't really matter. Then I will take 150 gram of Italian sausage. This particular one has 270 calories of 100 gram and it's relatively high in fat and also a little bit spicy. It's amazing in combination with any kind of pumpkin. I will cut in the skin and just remove it so I end up with only the meat. Then I will chop it up into little chunks. Now I will spray a touch of olive oil in a pan on medium high heat. Onions and sausage goes in and now I will fry them together for around 4 to 5 minutes. The sausage will start to get brown and also render out some of its fat which will work really nice with the squash. As soon as the sausage is start to brown you can add in the garlic and fry it for around 30 seconds before adding a little bit of salt and a couple of cranks of black pepper. Now I will put in one can of chopped tomatoes which in this case are 400 gram and also a little bit of water. Close the lid, reduce the heat to medium low and let this cook for around 10 minutes with occasional stirring. As soon as the sauce becomes thick like this, switch off the heat, add in a nice amount of fresh basil, mix everything and lay the pan aside. Meanwhile the squash should be ready, so I pull it out of the oven and let it cool down for a couple of minutes until I can handle it with my fingers without burning my hands. Now I will take a fork and then I will pull out all of the strings of the spaghetti squash and depending on the type of squash they sometimes are really thick and have almost the same shape of spaghetti. This one is a little bit more thin but in the end it really doesn't matter that much. They taste similar. The very cool thing is that this entire plate that has 600 grams of squash in it has only 180 calories. That is the reason why I can easily make a fattier sauce and it's still not a super high amount of calories in total. Now I will use the very hard shell as a bowl, put in the squash back, then the sauce and mix this until everything is nice combined. The other half of the squash however can be stored in the fridge for a couple of days. This entire recipe that is easily enough for two people has 792 calories, 72 grams of carbs, 43 grams of fat and 37 grams of protein. Here in this video you can see how to make a low calorie smashed burger and I would really appreciate a click on the like button if you in fact enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.